right, back to the same place as two days ago, catching gills. And uh, before I was with a YouTuber today, I'm with a guy off eBay I met, meeting, meeting guys on the internet. Uh, today I'm going to try soft plastics. 13 came out with some new stuff. I'm going to try the coconut crab with a, uh, I don't know what they're called. I think it's the jug, the, the Doug jig. Just something like that, uh, purple rain and a glow pink. Uh, we just got here minutes ago and he's already got two and I'm still setting up, so. And I see a fish on a graph. I can get something. Go with this angle today. Yeah, I got something at 10 feet. Pretty decent too. Days ago, they just real finicky. Ah, this is sunny. Yeah, I mean they're they're all pretty nice fish, aren't they? I tell you what, this upper cut hook and the, these 13 fishing jigs, they're all in the upper lip. Mm -hmm. I uh, I usually do a, a tungsten VMC, and it seems like I had a hard time hooking them. And this is what makes the uh, tickle stick nice, or the free fall. Just that little lever. I yeah, you can just one hand it. So while you're jigging with your second rod, you don't even have to put it down. Right on, oh, here comes something good. There we go. A little small to keep. That, I tell you what, that, I, uh, after fishing the other day for bluegills with the other hooks, this upper cut hook does catch them right in the upper lip. Staring at me. Oh, ripped it out of his mouth. There, I didn't. That's our last keeper. Those are like the best. Oh, there's a, that's a good one. This might be. This might be something other than a sunfish. Yeah, this is not a sunfish. Oh, oh my gosh, it is a sunfish. Wait till you see this. Look at that. That's gotta be 10 inches. You know what, he is so big. I'm actually gonna let him go. All right, look at this. First fish after kicking some people's off out of the area, which I hate to do, but that's got to be nine, nine and a half inch bluegill again. Oh, 
there's one right there. Oh, I got something on the bottom again, too. He's gonna have to wait, though. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, so crappy. First northern for the year. Rolled around in the line. What a mess. <laughs> There's other places to go, but it's hard to pass up fish like this. Oh, this guy's a big bull. Probably another nine incher. Now they're all back. Oh boy. Done. Ice out of here. And I'm catching 90% of them just from lip hooks like that. Okay, what are you? You're sunfish, alright. Jig, that uppercut jig. That's a decent crappie. Got him right in the lip where I wanted. Oh, my sister's gonna hate me for this from a center selfie. Oh, get him out. You got a nice pass. And you got that on a little. Oh, yeah. Nice hook set on him. That's a nice bass. Two, two and a half pounds. My buddy Chris just caught this nice bass. I'm gonna let go for him. Bye bye. There we go. Good one. Oh boy, that's a nice crappie. Yeah, look at that.
look at that. 13 fishing, uh, I think it's the, the, the dog jig and their coconut crab. This coconut crab has been great today. Oh, I got something on this one. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna have a double here shortly. Okay, I would say the fish are biting. The double hookups. Before I get too dark, what I should do is. I set up today as a wicked medium with a, or a Widowmaker me medium with a wicked reel. I think I got eight pound braid and the chubby darter. And then the black, or the free fall with a 23 super ultra light pickle stick and then 13 fishing jig and soft plastic you already saw. So I'm gonna give it a probably 10-15 more minutes before the sun goes down and call it good for the day but try and catch another crappie or bass or northern. Another largey? No. I'm gonna do that quick. Hopefully, get another, another bass or crappie, but this is only a bucket. Bass and crappie. That oh, looks like I'm bleeding, that's okay. I'll throw this guy at ice. Throw your guy, your guy on the hole? Mm hmm. 